Today we are going to record an audio with the help of Pi Audio. So let's get started. So guys, we are in our computer screen right now. So let's first import our required modules. So import Pi Audio. We have installed Pi Audio in our previous video. You can check my previous video on Pi Audio installation error. Next is we need our wave module to save our recording file. Then we need from array import array then from struct import pack okay now at first let us create our record function like this and give here output file like this and now we will create some variables chunk format channels rate duration okay at first just i'm writing it capital so that it will be easier for us to distinguish now among what uh, what things we have to distinguish this thing i will tell you later on so it will be equals to 1024 now chunk is basically a size which is in bytes okay so 1024 uh, bytes now uh, here comes format now format equals to pi audio dot p a i n t like this and this will be 16 okay format is basically actually the bit depth and we usually use 16 or 24 bits higher the format the higher uh, audio quality now next is our channels like this okay channels equals to two uh, channels equals to one means mono channel and channel equals to two means stereo channel we are using stereo channel here for better audio quality okay now rate equals to 44,100 and this number is in hertz okay the unit is hertz actually rate is a, a sampling frequency or you can say it as a cycle now what does the cycle mean a complete cycle is a uh, of a sound wave is a complete upward and downward movement in a wave is called as rate now it is generally uh, 48,000 or 44,100 hertz so we have yeah we are using here 44,100 hertz now just write here the duration like this let me just write here 5 this means that we are going to record for 5 seconds the duration of the recording is equal to 5 seconds okay now we need to create the instance of pi audio so pi audio dot uh, pi audio like this and here we have initialized our pi audio now we need to create a variable stream uh, like this stream equals to p dot open and here you need to type format equals to format or this one format okay now give a comma and Here you need to type channels equals to cha channels like this give a comma and here rate equals to rate like this give a comma and then input uh, let's set the input to true okay like this sorry I forgot the comma give a comma and then uh, frames per buffer equals to chunk okay we are done with it we have opened our stream now what we need to do we need to give some information to the user that uh, we are recording recording has started something like this recording okay like this and now uh, let me just create a blank dictionary like this and here 
let's add a for loop for i in range for i in range at first zero then comma and then int and in the parenthesis you need to type here uh, rate slash chunk into here you need to type the duration like this after it okay now what you need to do is to create a simple variable uh, data equals to now here stream stream dot read here you need to write chunk okay let me just explain you now uh, actually we are telling stream to read 1024 frames okay chunk equals to 1024 so we are going to read 1024 frames now what he, uh, you need to do is frames dot append and here write data now here we have uh, appended data to frames now what we need to do as we have initialized our uh, stream we need to close it so just write here stream dot close okay sorry uh, okay stream dot close and here before that you need to type uh, sorry stream dot stop stream it will stop your stream this will close it and then p dot terminate now we have done our recording and now we need to save the audio file now here we are going to use the wave module so let's make a variable wf equals to uh, wave dot open and here you need to type output file comma and here uh, in the inverted commas wb w me means writing binary in the form of writing binary we are going to open output file okay now wf dot set n channels and here you need to write channels like this and here uh, wf dot set uh, set sample width like this and here p dot get sample size this one okay and now in the brackets you need to type your format now the next verb, uh, work uh, is to set the frame rate so just write here wf dot set frame rate set frame rate like this and in the parenthesis write rate and now is to write frames so just write wf dot write frames in the parenthesis write a b like this then inverted commas and then dot join in the parenthesis frames and not this one this one okay now wf dot close finally we have completed our uh, function now the last thing is to do is just run this function record and name the output file for example output one uh, dot output dot wv okay now let us me just record it it told just it is recording it so hi hello so it has been recorded here you can see your output.wav 
but now you need to play it with the help of pi audio how you will do it i will answer this question in my next video before that let me just show you that it is working let me just open this output the wav in my system uh, audio player it told just it is recording it so hi hello. so it has recorded so it worked so i was telling about the second part of the pi audio tutorial which is playing the audio with the help of pi audio so to see that video first click on the video on the left and i have the automate google meet using python video on my right choose which one you want to see fast